And the probability of precipitation, 90% for tonight and 80% for tomorrow. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Because of the weather? No, because it's Friday. It's well, of course. Dr. D Spotlight. Oh, that's right. That I'd forgotten. <laughs> Dr. D, one minute. Spotlight. I'm Dr. D. On the road once again in the Dr. D mobile this week. I don't know, I think Jennifer Gates maybe has us plagued. Last week, sun and sand. This week, rain and snow. However, the Spotlight is still busy though. Yes, indeed, every, each and every Friday, of course, the Spotlight is always filled with entertainment, reviews, and overviews of what's happening here in this fine city of Windsor. And moving right along to the Dr. D's Spotlight file. Yes, indeed, this week we have Windsor's very own Noise and Noise. Yes, indeed, they've just released their debut cassette called A New World Shakedown. And they stopped by the studio this week to update me on what's happening with Noise and Noise. Uh, How long's the band been together? Years ago now. Two years. September 87. And uh, yeah. first year they didn't uh, do too much as far as playing out. It was all basically writing music. We do play, uh, it's an original act and uh, we play 95% original music. Okay, and the other now the other members of your band. You've got how many people in the band? We have four members, uh, all total, um, musical members. Uh, we have uh, Massimo Eifret, Massi Eifret on drums, Al Carter on bass, and uh, Steve Thompson on keyboards. And uh, you, I saw you guys down at uh, Glass Tiger. You guys were one of the opening bands for Glass Tiger. How'd that work out? That work out okay? It was a lot of fun. It was a good opportunity for us to uh, play in front of a big group of people with uh, some very professional equipment. Um, we had a great time. We really did. Are you rock and roll? Are you alternative? Are you a kind of a melting pot of it? Or We're more of a pop rock band. We're not really an alternative band per se. Uh, you know, in, in reference to some of the other bands that are in the city, there's, you know, some fairly hardcore band. We don't really fit that mold. Um, we're I, I actually commercial original music, really. Um, now you guys got some d some dates coming up. You're playing at uh, where are you playing next? Uh, we have our uh, annual Halloween party coming up, Dead Man's Party Two, that's uh, at uh, the Air Force Club on Marinette, uh, October 28th, Saturday night, and uh, we have uh, a week uh, run at uh, uh, Johnny's Roundhouse uh, R Roadhouse. <laughs> that's a new club. Yes, on, uh, on University West. It's uh, November 27th through December 2nd. And we have a tentative date November 3rd at the University of Windsor. This is going to be a uh, five-band uh, type concert that night, so we're tentatively booked for that. Okay, well, let's, uh, we have some, some footage of Noise and Noise. Let's take a, a look at a clip from the new tape, the debut tape, A New World Shakedown. This is the title cut, A New World Shakedown. <laughs> And here you have the Dr. D's official ticket to the next Noise and Noise performance, which will be at the Dead Man's Party 2 at, on Saturday, October 28th at Lancaster Hall at 1570 Marintet. Be sure to check it out in case you haven't got any plans for next Saturday. Noise and Noise, Windsor's very own. Moving right along in the spotlight once again, though, lots of action happening this weekend. Let's take a look now at Dr. D's Nightlife Scope, Dr. D's Top 5 Movie Picks, and the Top 10 provided by 88.7, The Mix. In the Nightlife Scope, Little Shop of Horror is a spoof of the 50s horror movies with appropriate rock music presented by Theatre Alive. Opens tonight at the Park Theatre, 804 Erie East. Performances Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Sunday at 2 p.m. through October 29th. 
Mail Order Bride, the Blythe Festival production presented by Amherstburg Performing Arts, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. at General Amherst High School, 130 Sandwich South, Amherstburg. And Beehive, the review of the 1960s music starring Mary Wilson, continues at Stage West, Tuesday through Saturday at 8 p.m., Wednesday and Sunday at 2 p.m. through November 5th. Dr. D's Top 5 Movie Picks this weekend. No change at number 5 for the Fabulous Baker Boys. Coming in at number 4, A Dry White Season, Marlon Brando and Donald Sutherland. Number 3, falling another notch this week, is Black Rain. Moving up a couple this week is Al Pacino and Sea of Love. And once again this week, the number 1 movie, Look Who's Talking. A look at this week's top 10 from our friends at 88.7 The Mix. At number 10 is Warrant, slipping some notches this week with Heaven. At number 9, climbing into the countdown is Elton John and Healing Hands. At number 8 is Millie Vanilli and Girl, I'm Gonna Miss You. At number 7 is Cher and If I Could Turn Back Time. And sprouting up a couple of notches this week at number 6 is Tears for Fears and Sowing the Seeds of Love. At number 5 is Madonna and Cherish. At number four, The Cure and Love Song. And hopscotching into the countdown this week, coming in at number three, is New Kids on the Block and Cover Girl. At number two is The Stones and Mixed Emotions. And once again this week, number one, Janet Jackson and her Rhythm Nation with Miss You Much. And that's it for the spotlight for this week. Until next time, I'm Dr. E. Time to get back to the office, Booch. On the road again. Dr. D just can't wait to get back on the road again. Going back to see all my cable friends. Dr. D just can't wait to get on the road again. Dr. D better buckle up. 53.75 if you don't. That's it for today. Have a nice weekend. On behalf of Ren, the crew, and myself, see you next week.